Hello, senors and senoritas. Welcome to the brand new series on my channel as I will be taking Real Zaragoza from the second tier to La Liga success and a little bit of dash of European glory itself. Yes, my name's Jordan Hawk 9, and well, Mr. Hawk's newest challenge is this club right here, Real Zaragoza. Now, it's not going to be a straightforward road to glory like pretty much my previous career mode was it's gonna be a bit of a challenge now if you're new to my channel i've done this certain series called the grounded series which is a set of rules for transfers and also selling players i did first started it with paddleborn as well as that we upgraded to venezia and last year we did it with paris fc now we're going to be taking it with Real Zaragoza. Now, if you may be wondering what is the grounded, well, let me explain the rules to you. First up, when it comes to signing players, I can only sign players in the same league as Real Zaragoza. So, since we're in the second tier, we can only buy players in the second tier of Spanish football. If I get promoted, then I can buy players from La Liga. It's that simple. So, no free agents. And no buying players outside my league. I can dabble in the youth academy, which hopefully I can get some young, talented players here. This is the club that David Villa broke out. And you all know David Villa is my favourite footballer ever. Now the second rule, to be honest with you, is is an actual rule in the Liga. So when we bring in players, there's going to be a little bit of a catch with that. Because every time I sign a player, every time I renew a player's contract, they've got to have a release clause in. And I can't change it. If it's activated, my hands are handcuffed and they are gone. It's an actual rule in La Liga and I'm hoping to keep it in this career mode. Now first let me address the elephant in the room. Why are you wearing glasses? Well, come on, I had a trip to Boots. And upwards, I said Mr. Hawk is short sighted. So, yeah, the glasses are in here and they're here to stay for a while. Now, we'll be playing our games at home at the beautiful La Romareda Stadium. Which, by the way, this is a secret. The board are planning to do a bit of a makeover in the future. So, prepare for that, okay? Wink, wink. As we're going to take a look at the squad that Mr. Hawk is working with, you can see a bit of a young talent. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Look at the goalkeeper. He's 78 bloody rated. Damn! Holy crap, what? Get off to a good start or what? Edgar over here is our highest rated player by a landslide. Uh, what was I about to say? Oh, yeah, do I know anybody? Well, I know Francis. He's pretty much one of the youngest high potential centre back in the game. Um, anybody else? Any Victor? I know from precinct career mode. Apart from that, nothing much. And we do have a budget of four million pounds. And with the rules explained, let's move on to some signings. Well, I say signings, but I'm gonna disappoint you. There's only one sign I made in this window, and that was the right back as I wanted to get a young potential player, and since this player is from Espanol, he's eligible to buy. So, for half my budget, £2.5 million, please welcome my only signing in this window, Omar El Halali. The date squad looking pretty good. Now, I'm getting the booze already. Yes, throw them out my way. I've changed the formation to a 4-4-2. Yeah, it's not quite La Liga way, the Spanish way. When you think of Spanish football, you think about the tiki-taka, the passing, 
the elegant dribbling, so much comes to your head. But I'm going to bring something different to this country. Like Jurgen Klopp brought to the Premier League. I'm going to be the difference maker. And I'm going to start it off from the bottom here at Real Zaragoza. Like for example, I'm starting two up front this time. Manuel, we've only got him for a year long loan. But his other strike partner, Ivan. Young, potential and boy you'll find out later. Absolutely strong. I want him to be here to the bitter end, like David Villa, the next up and coming Spanish striker. So, let's kick things off with the match highlights and see how we get on with Don't Real Zaragoza. Here, as you get to face a lot of B teams, for example, Villarreal's B team, as we take on the junior yellow submarines. Five minutes into the game, and I'm not going to lie, it's the worst passing you'll see in your life. But Ivan over here with the finishing touches, delivering the puncher in the submarine as he scores the first goal in Mr. Hawk's Real Zaragoza. And Ivan wasn't just a one-trick pony, no. Second chance came in, but it was a good save from the keeper. But from the resorting corner, how can you miss him? The guy is bloody huge as he connects with the head and gets the second goal for us. A brace on, well, Mr. Hawk's first game. It's really good. But, well, Villarreal's B team reduced the deficit as a cross came in an impressive dive in it. A better than Ivan's, I can't lie, makes it 2-1. So me having nightmares over my Sanetti in career mode every time I get a double lead, I started to play it safe. And well, wham! Minding my own business, tackled from behind, and well, it's a red card for you, mate. With the extra man, I took my chances like trying a new beer for the first time. As Facho dribbled past the complete defence, the shot off the posted in. Well, it was on target at least, and we've got the win in our first game at home. Our next opponents though, were promotion favourites, Vareo Valladolid. And well, I played it across to the big man, just look at the size of him. He's like Fernando Torres retiring, the sky's huge. Yep, alright, 1-0, but just still, look at the size of the guy. But at the other end, I told you this team was dangerous, as they broke my back line, but Edgar with an absolute sensational save. And that save made us push forward as Sergio then a lovely over the top through ball into Ivan and what a volley. You may think it was deflected. That angle showed it was no deflection needed as it was a great volley to secure the brace yet again. Two games, a brace, what could be better? Well, Sergio done the run, crossed it in and no one can beat the big man. It's 3-0, he's only got a hat-trick. But what about Manuel, the other striker up forwards? Well, don't worry about it, because he took his chance plenty. Oh my god, you bloody missed. Seriously? But on to every Brit's favourite holiday, it's Tenerife we travel to next. And it was a good early start for you, but just shame that Keeper made a save out of that. Then we started from the wing. Played it nice and easy to the centre, then Ivan was the finishing blow for us. The big guy's done it again. Victor wanted to get a piece of that cake, but the goalkeeper replied with a high five. Nothing much, but we did get a corner. And you know what we do from corners. Yes, Ivan already becoming a mainstay in here at Real Zaragoza. Got himself a second goal. It was looking good for a third chance, but it wasn't just getting anywhere near. Tenerife did snatch one and then afterwards my lazy centre back. You're lazy and you know it because he lost the ball too easily. Tenerife pushed for it and yeah, they've got themselves an equaliser. No, this isn't Sinetien. But it got a lot worse. Momentum on Tenerife's side. They pushed for the final chance. No, nothing that my high rate goalkeeper can do about that. As we lose our first game 3 2 away to Tenerife as they complete the comeback. And your marks get set go as at the La Marina Stadium we took on racing clubs. We took the early star as Ivan was bullying off the defenders. No complaint from me. Over the top rule to Manuel. Well, but he had the chance to score but hits the post. There's a lot of complaints from me after that. I'm starting to get worried over Ivan's strike partner. 
and literally, if chances like that are missing, Racing Club could have gone up the other end and made it 1-0. Take two now, as Ivan was on the wing. Unnatural from across to into Manuel. His shot got blocked, but Sergio finally broke the deadlock here at home. Makes it 1-0 to Las Manos. And on the wing, we see Victor. He sees the big man who plays it across to Manuel. And finally, sorry. Finally! The wake-up call. We all need it as Manuel gets his first goal of the season. And that was literally like a wake-up slap. It was super effective as he went on to score a hat-trick against racing clubs. That is the performance I need from you. Sport and Heron away turned out to be a lot more of a challenge than I thought. Just like trying to put some clothes on a cactus as this side were being a bit raw to pricks on me. But my god, Edgar, tell me he's not overpowered and highly rated for this league, making some absolute killer saves. And it went on to miss the bright side, lays it across to Manuel, one-on-one, -on -one, heavy touch, but the goalkeeper didn't rush me and Manuel scored. 1-0 against the runner play, I'll tell you that. But Sport and he's on didn't haze on any of the attack. Kept going, literally, Edbar made a great save from the corner, saved off the line thanks to Victor. And just to add the salt to the wounds, Ivan made it 2-0 in a very undeserved win for Las Manos. On to Real Oviedo, and just watch this. We're playing it from the back, nice and easy, the Spanish way. If this was an exam, it gets an A. Okay, scratch that. A star. And what this team is good at is spotting holes in my opposition defence. Like golfers, they're easy enough to find the holes. As you can see, Mark gets the goal from the centre mid roll. And to finish it off, Manuel, once again, he just can't stop scoring for him. 3-0. What a way to wrap up the match highlights. But let's go to a familiar face in our live game. In today's live game, we'll be travelling to another country as we'll be taking on Mr. Hawk's former side, FC Andorra. Now, I had some really fond memories with this club, especially the Champions League finals. It was such a pleasure and one of the best finals I've played with. Now, I hope to take Real Zaragoza to those heights. And, well, I've got to do the unnecessary need and literally beat my former side. Now, it's good to be back on this artificial pitch. But can we get the job done? Come on, Los Manos. Free kick in a dangerous area. Now, I think my play didn't land rough. It's artificial pitch after all. Lovely passing into Francis. Francis into Victor. All right, good work. Good work in the ball. A day in attacking me. A double day. There he is, Ivan. But the keeper made a good save out of that. I can't miss the big guy, but I've got myself a corner. And I love myself a corner. Especially if it's going into the big guy. Nope, unluckily. Francho with the shot. Oh, unlucky. Chest and volley. What a... Oh, hello, Mr. Hort looking class. I don't want no one comment saying four eyes in there. I'll tell you that now. Corner in. Heads it away. Heads it by Sergio. Oh, my God. Off the line. And he gets absolutely taken out. Referee, you're doing something about that. Francis plays across to Fancho into Victor. And you know, I've got that career mode vibes. You know, when you die, like, finish a career mode with 90 rare plays and starting a new one. I'm still getting into the rhythm of that. Fancho plays it across to Victor once again. Victor on the wing gets tackled. But I won myself a corner right here. Now, let's see if I can find him this time. Whips it in. Big man, Ivan. There we go. How can you miss him? If you're living on the moon, you can easily spot the big guy, Ivan, who makes it 1-0 to Real Zaragoza. Short passing from Andorra. Now, like I said, I've got a soft spot for FC Andorra. Like I said, it took me a while. And Gerard Piquet's team... Go for a run, good deflection, tackled unavailable. That was a late slide tackle, I've seen it. Over though, oh thank goodness for Edgard. What a save, down low. Goal kick, those are lovely now into Francis. I want those guys to stay here for quite a while. A future into Omar, our only signing. Those are lovely, Victor. 
Now into Ivan through, balls it to Manuel. Takes the shot, lovely shot. This is what I just love, playing it from the back. Yeah, we're a small team, but we can do it so perfect. Literally just like a mini pep side. Real Zaragoza strikes a second past FC Andorra. Ivan on the ball. I dare you to... Okay, intercept me. I was going to say dare to tackle him. Survive if he lets you. Lovely work. Now plays it back to Vita. Now it's into Manuel all the time. Plays it back to Vita. Oh, it's free. It's free. Sorry, FC Andorra. It hurts me more than it hurts you. But just before the half, we deliver the third. The floodgates have officially opened for business. Ivan Gale plays it across. Now the SC Dawn fans, or should I say, the fellow Andorans should be really, really motivating their team. But they've gone silent. It's like a library here. And I don't blame him. We're playing lovely football. Manuel into Ivan. Beats a defender, but couldn't beat the goalkeeper up in the air. It's an easy catch. Ivan on the ball. You see the rare FC Andorra fans going away from him. Plays across to Victor though. Victor, Manuel, holds the ball. Holds it lovely. Lovely passing. Back to Ivan. Could have made it four. It's getting close, but we're not putting away our chances in the second half. Come on. Here we go. Nice from the back. Nice and easy. Sergio plays it back to Ivan. Plays it back. Here we go. Manuel. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That was close. Ivan couldn't. Oh. Close range, you should be at least, at least getting it on target, but just wide. Cross came in, heads it down by Francis Omar. Come on, here we are. Plays across to Victor. Lovely run from him. Beautiful. Through balls it. Ivan by himself. You see the defender. I don't want to go near him. He's going to hurt me. Oh, he hurt you all right. He hurts FC Andorra where it hurts the most. Right in the gonads, be it back of the net. That's the fourth goal, and you can see the stadium is pretty much clean empty. Full time goes as I get one off my former side. It's a good, good day to be a Real Zaragoza fan. So, let's see how the halfway is going with this team. So, we are first place, which is brilliant, but I'm not going to be celebrating yet popping the champagne as i've got espanol right behind my back as well as that if we lose two more games and literally third place is going to be around us the goal was promotion and it's getting pretty close at the top of the table so the squad what can i say ivan the spanish striker yes he's spanish i just want him to be here for a while now He's literally like the up-and-coming David Villa, but on steroids, as in, uh, literally, he's... he's like a brick. Then afterwards, we've got Manuel, who's finally come out of his shell. The defence looks pretty solid. Edvard, love him. Literally, it's going well for our first half of the season. Can we keep it up, though, next half, which is the most crucial part? Can we get Real Zaragoza's foot over the line and secure promotion in La Liga? If you enjoyed today, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, we've got plenty more career modes, and as always, I'll see you beautiful people later.